Welcome to the 2015 NCHA World Finals. I'm with the world champion of the $50,000 amateur division, Barney Max Smith, who rode one red miss. Congratulations, Barney. Thank you, ma'am. What does this win mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I kind of set a goal out earlier in the year. When I graduated college, I said I was going to haul for the haul for the world, and I, I didn't really know what I was signing up for, I don't think. <laughs> but uh, here I am, and it all kind of worked out, and it's a lot of good help and along the way. A lot of people that have been a part of this, so very thankful for it. When you say you, you weren't sure what you signed up for, tell us about some of the things you, you encountered on the road. The countless hours, really probably the worst, is driving home at about 3 in the morning after you missed a cut somewhere and waited up all night to go cutting and you didn't didn't even get to cut, you know, but it's kind of what makes you humble in this sport so good, I think, and, you know, just makes you a better person, I think, getting good on the road like that. And, and yet you still had experiences like that and here you are, the world champion. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You fight your head, you know, and I've had a few people along the way, you know, come up to me and say, you know, I noticed you hadn't, you know, been kind of rough. Just keep your head up, keep going. That's all you can do. Go to the next one and maybe do better, but that's all, you know. And it's it's really great, um, I guess, advice for those who didn't end up winning world champion and had those experiences to know that they can still end up, if they keep at it, winning a buckle like you did. Definitely, just keep going down the road. I know I, I thought a lot of times, what in the heck am I doing out here right now? And me and my dog and two horses in the trailer, and it's like, <laughs> hadn't won any money in a month, but just keep going, and it, it worked out somehow, you know? So so tell us about your, your runs here, your, your first your, your first and second go-round. Yeah, the first go-round, I marked 14 and a half. Uh, mare was good. Cows were a little wild, and I don't know that I cut as good as I can and have cut, but uh, got their run, got a good check, and... Uh, then today I marked a 212, uh, kind of the same deal. Cows were, you know, I just don't know that I cut as good as I, I can. And maybe a little nervous, I'm not sure. But uh, I uh, got through it, got an average check, and it kind of put me up there where I could you know, be all right and win the deal. So it's a good deal. So one red missed, what do you like about your horse? Oh, just the style she has. She's so unreal. I mean, she just drops down when a cow gets in front of her and really tries her and, and make huge moves from left to right. It's uh, She's a pretty good horse. And that, that I showed a, another horse along the, along the the throughout the year, uh, ARC Kathmandu, and he's another just outstanding gelding. That It's really the only horse I'd shown and really got me going for the year and stuff. And one red missed I've had since about July. Showed her at the age events and then got to finish out the year on her out on the west coast and come back home and she's been a really phenomenal mare for me. Well good job, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much.